Let's uh, take you outside right now. Here's a look from our Scott Kim. How Just take over my job. You anchor. No, Go ahead. No, no, I could never do what All you, you do. You're a total pro. That's a look to the west uh, from our Sky Cam at the Reserve Golf Course. Not a bad day for golf. If you think about it, a little soggy out there, but with the sunshine, scattered high clouds rolling in right now. 48 degrees, east winds at 11, clear out in Washington County. We're seeing temperatures in the 50s throughout the, at least the highs were. In fact, mid 50s at 56 at Scappoose, 55 in Aurora. We had that great combination of a relatively warm night, not too cold, east winds to keep the fog and low clouds from setting up, and then abundant sunshine, even in December, makes a difference. 30s and 40s on the east side, and yes, as I told you yesterday, there would be 60s on the map down in the Rogue Valley and other valleys in southwest Oregon and over on the southern Oregon coast as well. Now, you see the fog from Corvallis south towards Eugene, but the rest of western Oregon clear. Eastern Oregon, not so much. The low clouds hanging tough in the valleys. It's clear in the mountains. No problem there. There are three sisters. I'm sure it was a beautiful day at Mount Bachelor. Um, but it's fun to watch the low clouds flow through the passes. This is looking south from our sky cam at Timberline Lodge. And you're, you don't see Mount Jefferson because the low clouds are a little too high, but those clouds are moving from east to west, and they're moving at a pretty good clip, indicating the winds are fairly strong. And there's a chairlift that's spinning too. Bruno's chair up at Timberline, uh, one of the chairlifts in Oregon that is actually operating right now. Hopefully we'll get more going in the days and weeks ahead. East winds, though, sure were strong. Crown Point, Augusta, 58. That's, of course, in the gorge. Troutdale, 38. The airport, 35. And the West Hills and the... Uh, wind gauge top the Fremont Bridge, both recorded guests of 32 miles an hour. So the clouds will roll in. Here's the next storm coming our way. That's going to be bringing us clouds tomorrow, but not a lot of rain with this one. It's just not a big weather maker for us. The east winds will weaken overnight tonight. So we get a break from that. I know you folks in East County are probably happy about that. And then the clouds increase. And what about rain? So the coast, you'll get some rain later tomorrow night, even tomorrow afternoon. For the valleys, we get a few showers that make it over the coast range and into the valleys. But then it clears out as we go into Saturday, Sunday, even Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And by Monday, we'll catch some showers spinning up from the south. But this is not a big snow producer for us and not a big rain producer for us either. Now, the first system coming in tomorrow night, Thursday morning, this is a rather aggressive rainfall forecast of three tenths of an inch in the valleys. I don't think we end up with that much amounts like that more likely out at the Oregon coast. I think we likely end up with a tenth of an inch or less. So where are the storms? Well, we've got basically high pressure over us, but also we've already seen a lot of split flow here on the West Coast, which is a, a signature of El Nino winters like this. We see systems diving south into California. In fact, this pattern will be highly productive for the Sierra Nevada. They'll get a bunch of snow out of this. We will not. This is next Tuesday. So that one washes out. Then there's hope for a stronger system coming at us next Friday. So right as we go into the weekend before Christmas. Now this is a great pattern. This is what you want to see if you want to get mountain snow in the Cascades and Valley rain. But that's only one solution. Keep in mind today's, what is today? China, the 12th? It today's is the 12th, 12th. Yes. yeah. Yeah. So this is 10 days out there, right? So that's one model. That's the American model. If we look at the European model, it's a completely different answer, showing high pressure, no storms at all, and relatively warm weather. So we'll have to wait and see 10 days out if we do get back into the swing of things storm track wise, right? Okay, it is in Portland right now, a clear, beautiful night. It's 50 degrees still, which is pretty mild for this time of the year. As we go into tomorrow, the clouds are going to begin to increase, and that's going to lead to showers as we go into early Thursday morning. Same thing in the Cascades, high clouds increasing, but really not a lot of rain coming our way there. We'll see a high tomorrow, a little bit cooler than today, but still 53 and then 50 on Thursday. The clouds clear Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, most of Sunday will also be dry. So we're in pretty good shape if you like it warm and dry China.